Diana, you are one of just 21 women CEOs who are running uh, Fortune 500 companies. A lot of women aspire to this. What would you say is the key to your success? Well, I'm really optimistic, Susie, that we're going to see more than 21 women <laughs> run um, the largest companies. And I think we have a great pipeline of women. We certainly see them coming into business in large numbers. We see them in business school. We see them in law school. Where they tend to get stuck is the middle. Right. We need to get them through the middle. And once they get into senior management, then I think the opportunity for them to become CEOs is real. Before you came to Guardian, you held executive roles mm -hmm. at New York Life, McKinsey & Company. You got an MBA mm -hmm. from uh, Stanford mm -hmm. University. You, you made a lot of smart mm -hmm. moves in your career. But what was the strategic career move that you made that opened the way for you to become CEO? And I made what some people would consider to be unorthodox moves. You know, I left McKinsey not long after I became a partner to go work with one of my clients, AXA Financial, because I wanted more experience actually doing the things that I was consulting on. Um, I took some time off when I had a family situation, emergency that I wanted to spend time on. I started my own business at one point. Nobody would look at that and say, okay, here's a prescription to become a CEO. But it worked for me. And I think sometimes women in particular say, well, I have to check this box and this box and this box so that I can make it to the next level. But sometimes checking this box, this box, and this box doesn't really ignite your internal passion, right? And, and you need a lot of passion to carry you through the hard work that takes you to the top. I know that you do a lot of mentoring, you believe in it. Mm -hmm. What is the a key advice that you give to young women or senior executive women who want to get to the top of their organization? You have to be yourself. Uh, people want to follow authentic leaders. But I think real leadership and real success is going to come from within. So you have to find something where you feel you're making an absolute difference, where you are the only one who can really you know, push this project through or take this to the finish line. And that internal drive and enthusiasm is what's going to carry you.